Hey, hey, hey. So let's talk about Thanksgiving and what the definition of Thanksgiving is in my world at hex to hex I'd like to thanks everybody and every company for giving me new toys to play with. So let's start with the one that I've been waiting on. A buddy of mine picked this up for me. Gettysburg the wheat field. I cannot wait to get this thing out. Like playing a minis game with cardboard counters in the wheat field in the Stony Hill area out in front of a little round top up above Devil's Den. Um, card driven game, that'll be a first for me. This one's made by Luckman, which is amazing because a lot of people have never heard of this one. They only made one game. I wish they would have made a bunch more. So I guess the series was called the Tattered Flags. So I can't wait to get that out, but you know that I'm playing day of day, so it'll have to wait. So that's number one. A buddy of mine wanted me to play this game. I used to have this years ago, Crete. I guess it's the old Avalon Hill. So I'm going to, eventually I'll get that on the table so I can play that. Uh, all the counters are punched, but I'm going to have to do some clipping and stuff. Um, everything looks good inside the box. Just one of them games had for a long time. So those two were, were given to me. Then I got my order from, well, let's see, let's do this first. Picked up another couple games from a buddy of mine today. We're going to, lost victory. Manstein at Kharkov. That's a GMT game from 1994. I looked at the map on it and it reminded me of the East, East Front Series maps. So this one ought to play pretty nicely and fairly easily. So we'll try that one. Again, that's GMT. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, yeah. And just for you guys, because we were talking about it the other day, I was down the road playing a victory lost, and my buddy had this one. Victory denied. So I was I only played. I only got to play like three or four turns of victory loss. He was kicking my butt anyhow. So, but this one looks interesting. So I, I'll, and these are easy to play. I could probably set this one on play it right now, just reading any of the special rules. So that's MMP, which this is a very good system, which everybody has told me. All right, I picked up. Now these were ones that I wished I would have waited. But I'd already bought and paid for before the MMP sale because I didn't know it was coming out. But I picked up the Mighty Endeavor. All right? I know everybody likes that one. A lot of you guys got that for the MMP sale. So that's a standard combat series, MMP. Uh, I'm sure this is the D-Day Invasion stuff. So we'll get around to that one. Uh, let's see. No Question of Surrender. Grand Tactical Series. So this will make three now. I'm punching... I'm punching the greatest day. I've already got Operation Mercury punched. And yeah, I think this is the third one. So this is no question of surrender, the battle for Beer Hakim. Desert game, which I've got a hankering for desert games right now. Uh, and I wanted to try this. I don't own any Compass games, but now I do. And what is this called? The Com Company Scale Series, I think. So this is Montelamar, the Anvil of Fate. And I saw some people playing this and going over the rules. So I said, okay, i got to give this a try because it looks really good. All right, then, a granddaddy of a game. And this will be the second one in this type of series that I had. But I picked up Atlantic Wall, the Goss system. And I can't wait just to open this and look at the box and see all the components that are in it. I know this is a very detailed play of a game, but I look forward to getting this one out and playing it too. This will be one of them ones, this or Vok Dom Ryan, that I'll set up and play this thing maybe when it starts to get near christmas time i'll get it set up one of the two set up and start playing them but i really look forward to this um i never got to see the spi version of the game uh, hell i didn't even know that the bach dom ryan for spi and the bach dom ryan for dbg even with the same title they're completely two different systems of games from what i understand now all right so anyhow these are the things that i've picked up here just you know, just got them all today actually picked up four of them down the road at my buddy's house and uh all the ones from um, NWS came in, showed up in a box today. All right. Hope everybody had a great holiday yesterday and stuffed yourselves. Uh, you know the routine with this. Say, uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna finish day of days. We're gonna play that one out because I'm enjoying that. I need to get back on my first Battle of Winchester game. Uh, I've only played two turns in that, and I need to finish up Cedar Mountain 1862. Then I'll move move on to some of this other stuff. But still, look forward to a big monster game. Um, 
I'm hoping that I can actually get this up and take a gander at how this thing works because I'm really, really intrigued by this. This is this would be kind of like playing minis without the minis. All right, guys. This is Quota from Hex to Hex. Hope everybody had a great holiday. We'll talk to you soon.